Good morning, brothers and sisters. We offer this Mass for our deliverance from the pandemic of COVID-19. The frontliners who unselfishly offer their services in these difficult times. For those afflicted with the virus and other disease and those who have died. For proper guidance and an enlightenment of our civil and church leaders. For those who send their private intentions. For the benefactors and friends of the Basilica. And for our personal intentions. Let us now pray the Angelus. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady of God, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. 
Pray for us. Santo Domingo de Guzman. Pray for us. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. John the Baptist was sent to prepare the way of the Lord. His message of repentance and conversion continues through this Advent season and every day of our life. Let us heed the call of John the Baptist as we prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the Eucharist. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Stir up our hearts, O Lord, to make ready the paths of your only begotten Son, that through his coming we may be found worthy to serve you with minds made pure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. I am the Lord, your God, who grasped your right hand. It is I who say to you, Fear not, I will help you. Fear not, O warm Jacob, O Magot Israel. I will help you, says the Lord. Your Redeemer is the Holy One of Israel. I will make of you a threshing sled, sharp, new, and double-edged, to thresh the mountains and crush them, to make the hills like shaft. When you win of them, the wind shall carry them off, and the storm shall scatter them. But you shall rejoice in the Lord and glory in the Holy One, of Israel. The afflicted and the needy seek water in vain. 
their tongues are parched with thirst. I, the Lord, will answer them. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. I will open up rivers on the bare heights and fountains in the broad valleys. I will turn the desert into marshland and the dry ground into spring of water. I will plant in the desert the cedar, acacia, myrtle, and olive. I will set in the wasteland the cypress together with the plane tree and the pine, that all may see and know, observe and understand that the hand of the Lord has done this, the Holy One of Israel has created it. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord in gracious, is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and great in kindness. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. I will extol you, O my God and King, and I will bless your name forever and ever. The Lord is good to all and compassionate to all his works. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. Let our works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. The Lord is gracious and merciful, is slow to anger and of great kindness. Let them make known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages and your dominion endures through all generations. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. Please stand. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, Amen, I say to you, among those born of women, there has been none greater than John the Baptist, Yet the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violent are taking it by force. All the prophets and the law prophesied up to the time of John. And if you are willing to accept it, he is Elijah, the one who is, come, who is to come. Whoever has ears ought to hear. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Tuwing may parating na importanteng tao, gaya for example ng President, o kaya ang Santo Papa pag may pupuntahang isang lugar, bago dumating ang mga VIP o yung mga high profile na mga tao, meron silang tinatawag na advance party to prepare the coming of that important person. So, they send 
advance party to prepare and to see to it that everything is in order. So, ganyan din po sa panahon ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, bago po siya dumating, may taong binigyan ng misyon upang ihanda ang pagdating ng Mesiyas. At ang taong ito ay si Juan Bautista. John the Baptist was sent to prepare the way of the Lord. So, in a way, he is the advance party. And what was the battle cry of John the Baptist? Prepare the way of the Lord. John started a baptism of repentance. So during the season of Advent, we are presented with the figure of John the Baptist to remind us that the Messiah will come again. And this is what we call the last judgment. And during the second coming, Jesus will examine us. He will demand from us an accounting of all the blessings that God has given us. And therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, every day is a call to conversion. Every day is a call to accountability for we are God's stewards. And as God's stewards, we are to present to Him what have we done with the gifts that God have given us. Let us remember that every day is a gift from God. Tuwing tayo ay gumigising, tayo ay binigyan ng Diyos ng pagkakataon upang magbagong buhay. So every day we have to become a better version of ourselves. We have to strive to live according to the demands of the gospel. We have to live as Jesus taught us how to live as his followers. And in the end, everything will be made accounted for. So let us not forget that we are preparing for the coming of the Messiah. And the message of John the Baptist resounds to our day. Tayo ay naghahanda, hindi lamang para sa pagdiriwang ng Pasko, ang pagdating ng Heso Kristo na tunay natin pinaghahandaan ay ang kanyang muling pagbabalik. So let us prepare ourselves and listen to what John the Baptist has to say to us. Make straight the paths of the Lord. Let us prepare the way for Jesus so that our hearts may be ready to welcome him this Christmas and especially for his second coming. Please stand. The Lord Jesus praised John the Baptist for bringing the people to God by preaching repentance. In prayer, let us intercede for the people of the world and their needs. God of forgiveness, hear us. God of forgiveness, hear us. That the leaders of the church may continue to call people to turn away from sinful ways, let us pray to the Lord. God of forgiveness, hear us. That men and women who are entrusted with authority may make justice flourish in our time, let us pray to the Lord. God of forgiveness, hear us. That the poor and the downhearted may hear the good news of salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. 
God of forgiveness, hear us. That we may hold on to what is good and avoid every form of evil. Let us pray to the Lord. God of forgiveness, hear us. That the faithful departed may see the salvation of God in his kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. God of forgiveness, hear us. Father, in your love, listen to our prayers and make us like John the Baptist, fearless and humble witnesses of your Son's teaching throughout the world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make, gathered from among your gifts to us. And may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and every word to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For He assumed at His first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when He comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim.
please me. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Ricardo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to sing. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Love of God, we take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Let us now pray the ark of his spiritual communion. My Jesus. I believe that you're in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Permit me not to be separated from you. From the wicked foe, defend me. At the hour of my death, call me and bid me come to you, that with your saints I may praise you forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray. 
For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please kneel. Let us pray the mission prayer. God, our loving Father, you sent your Son into the world to proclaim the good news of salvation to all, to sinners, the poor, the oppressed, the sick, the abandoned and neglected. He gave his life on the cross for us and rose again to new life to redeem us and reconcile us with you. You sent your Holy Spirit to the apostles to continue the work of your Son and to lead all to salvation. We thank you, Father, for bringing us from darkness into light through your loving plan 500 years ago. Missionaries came to our land to proclaim the gospel of Jesus, your Son, to our ancestors that made us your people and the church. The gift of faith has accompanied us through both darkness and lights, defeats and victories of our history as your people. Our faith has become for us true light that shines in the darkness. Renew in us the grace of your Spirit that impels us to be witnesses of Jesus, your Son, to a world broken by greed, violence, injustice, sickness, and suffering. May our faith bring us to unity as your children, to care for and love one another. May the Holy Spirit empower us to be proclaimers of the good news to our brothers and sisters in Asia and to all nations. Give us the sincere desire to help others to come to faith in the Lord Jesus, to share in your joy and life. May the Blessed Mother, the Star of Evangelization, accompany us and pray for us as we live and share our faith with others. May our strong love and devotion to her as our Mahal na Ina form us to be true disciples and witnesses of Jesus to all, always ready to be sent and to be obedient to whatever Jesus asks of us. We ask this through Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, pray for us. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Let us now pray the prayer before a crucifix. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity through contrition for my sins, in a firm purpose of amendment, while I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious ones, pondering over them within me, and calling to mind the words that David, your prophet, said of you, my Jesus. They have pierced my hands and feet. They have numbered all my bones. 
prayer to Our Lady of God. O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of God, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits and in the hope of receiving new blessings which you know I need in life. Then, O dearest Mother, to shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul, particularly. And a special grace to die in God's love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of God, pray for us in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> 